So you guys aren't going to be able to hear what I am recording. Uh, I, I can hear what I'm singing to, but you guys won't be able to hear it, and it's going to sound really bad. What I'll do is I'm going to sing the harmony, and then I'll play it back, and you guys can hear what I just did. So here I go. This heart last to bed a little late last night. So this weekend, we're going to work on electrical stuff. Pete went to put the hydraulic pump on the tiller this morning, and when the arm moved, it leaked hydraulic fluid, and luckily it didn't, you know, spill overboard. It leaked on the deck, but it still was kind of... A nuisance. Uh, a madhouse for a second there. I stepped in it and I was like, what the hell is that? And I looked down, there's hydraulic fluid all over the deck. Oh no. That'd be nice offshore, slipping all over the place. Uh. Okay, anyways, I'm gonna continue getting ready for work. <laughs> I was feeling very, very, very sleepy, so I took a nap in the bus. And that was the best sleep I've had in a while kind of nice to hear the trees rustling and the sound of birds and <sighs> wow he's filling in all the voids nice right now I'm gonna I think I'm gonna start sanding this. oh cool that's that's perfect yeah and then she's got she's got pieces that are already cut and stuff oh yeah the velcro that's cool So, this is a really cool tool that uh, Margo has. This is a multi-tool, and it can get into all the little corners and stuff, which will be really good for this job. So, we're going to work on Norna today. Yay! First things first, the light in our aft cabin is the switch is in a, a bad sp spot, so we're going to move that. What you doing, Pete? Oh, the spinning is in here. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing, little egg right tail? Very right tail. Very, very, very tail. Up like that. Through the deck. Through the deck. And then the other fittings must go on the those. This is for our autopilot. And our autopilot is different because we don't have a wheel. It's a tiller. So it's actually that hydraulic ram right there which pushes the arm of the tiller which then goes down to a hydraulic pump that is told what to do by our Simrad autopilot. So essentially you tell it which way to go it dumps the fluid right or left whichever way the arm's gonna go and voila. And what about that adjustable in the I got that. I need two. Uh, uh, maybe go back there and grab those pliers that are in that little drawer that slides out. Or a pair of pliers. 
So I haven't shown you guys, but um, because it was kind of dark that night, I did it. But in the aft cabin, I made okay. I made a whole thing for the engine room because our engine room is kind of back here. So I made a drawer <laughs> that opens up, and it's gonna have all of our tools like wrenches and stuff. Where they are in the off cabin, they're gonna get wrecked, you know. I mean, in the Ford Foxhole, because it leaks so bad, so that'll keep those dry. And hopefully non-rusty, they'll probably rust anyway. And then I also, back in this corner, it's probably hard to see, but I put a bunch of engine oils and stuff back here. So it's got a bunch of engine oils and all that that we need. I gotta actually screw that down. Down. Okay. Now we're ready to hook the hose on there and the hose on there. So this is the top hose that goes to the ram. So you stick out of the deck and we hook the ram right to these. So I got a, a hose, an o ring or anything? Uh, no. No. Okay. And where it was leaking, I think, was here or here. The one of these two is leaking. Oh, okay. So we gotta seal these up better. Like put them together. And there's another line. Yeah, the autopilot leaked a little bit when we crossed the Atlantic. There's another line that comes through. No, I guess not. Yeah, there is. There's another line that comes through and goes to that fill tube, remember? Oh, yeah. And I got its fill tube. But where does that I'll show you what I got line from. go through? I mean, how do we run it through the deck? Yeah, but how do you get it to the, you got, it's got to go down to the pump. I think we just put it, put it through. No, you don't. And here's the fill tube on that. Okay. That's got to mount somewhere out there. And that's plenty of, that'll be plenty of oil. <laughs> but this, oh, that's sealed, okay. Krishna parade going on on shore. Or Harry Krishna. Not Krishna. <laughs> uh, come off of there a little. And that, is that even? Like? Yeah, that looks pretty close. Got to one. Let's see if it comes on. Which one was the one that was working that was up here when we turned on the engine? I, I don't think it mattered. Okay. I think those lights, I mean, I, I all I did was go. Driver. We got a straight soft okay. screwdriver. Okay, so we figured out this whole system. And we need a couple things from the store in order to finish. We have to go get a couple end fittings. We don't have a straight slot out here, so we're having trouble with that. So you gotta make a piece of wood around that. With a little groove in it for the pipe to kind of grab the pipe a little bit. And we'll draw a hole in those, but you won't be able to tie the cleat off. We're gonna go in and get a couple things. Walk into the shop. I'm gonna get the cars and go and pick up some things. We got everything we needed, everything we need in this bag. I don't need nothing else. For electrical. Yeah. <laughs> this is the one that you're. Yeah. That's a good look. That Errol gave us. Who? Errol. That's his name? Yeah. Butt block, butt connector. Got a good butt connector for 
Yeah. This one's already got the heat. It's around right now. And then you heat shrink it. These are the only kind of crimpers to use, these kind of tall thing. Bring to the other side? Yeah. That's cool. Okay, let there be light. <sighs> now I gotta hook up three more lights. There's one up here, and there's one over on that side. So that's awesome. We're gonna finally have lights in our foxhole. Needed some lights up here. We um we were putting LED lights up before, but this is what happened to them. We went to uh wait. Doesn't this light over there need splicing too? To no, it? it's gonna come off of here. Oh, okay. I got the hot okay. splice for that. One. So. But the ground. Where's the ground gonna pick up on that? On these. <laughs> uh huh. On. I don't know. Okay, so we went to, we turned on, we went to, we realized we had to splice into another light, like, into the same wire of the one light that got, we, we got working, and then we messed up. We messed up. Works. And let me make sure it's not cutting the batteries all the way down or something. Yeah, it'll break your spine. Okay, so what happened was we hooked on the light up forward and then all of a sudden it just like shot the batteries down to 11 something and then flipped the breaker on the panel. And if it doesn't I'll tell you. Oh good and the batteries aren't going down to nothing. Okay. Yeah those grounding. Oh wow. <laughs> wow that looks good. Should I turn the switch off just in case? Or? Up here, man. Get out of here. I want to kind of see what the rot was. Pete found some rot. Sure. Some rot. Ooh, bad spot, bad spot, bad spot. I will tell you a truth. I saw that. Yeah, I know. I will tell you the truth. When I was screwing up the lights, I could tell. I could see the. I could see the um the mold when I was screwing that light up, and I was like. All right, we're gonna go take some showers, chill out the rest of the night, have a cup of tea. Have a good night. <laughs>